What's going on, family? It's your brother Robert coming at you again with another daily devotional. So today we're going to be coming from Matthew chapter 20, looking at verses 30 through 34 from the topic, Are You Blind? Again, the, t- the topic is, Are You Blind? Matthew chapter 20, verses 30 through 34 from the English Standard Version, which reads like this. And behold, there were two blind men sitting by the roadside. And when they heard that Jesus was passing by, they cried out, Lord, have mercy on us, son of David. The crowd rebuked them, telling them to be silent, but they cried out all the more, Lord, have mercy on us, son of David. And stopping, Jesus called them and said, What do you want me to do for you? They said to him, Lord, let our eyes be opened. And Jesus, in pity, touched their eyes, and immediately they recovered their sight and followed him. So, have you ever heard somebody say, are you blind? Most of the time, they literally don't mean, are you blind? But they're really saying, are you not seeing what is literally right in front of you? Are you missing what is right in front of your very eyes? And in our story today, I believe it, if an outsider was looking in, They will be telling the crowds the same thing. Are you missing what is right in front of your very eyes? In the story, we see two blind men who hear Jesus is coming by. And immediately, they start to cry out to him and announce to him his messianic title, Son of David. And the crowd, the crowds who could see, were telling those men to, shh, be quiet. Don't annoy Jesus. But that didn't stop them. They cried out, even more. And Jesus stopped. He addressed them. He healed them. And they followed him. The blind men were the ones in the story that could truly see. They could truly see because they recognized the Messiah was coming. They recognized that someone who could heal them was there. They recognized who was in their presence. And when they recognized that, they couldn't stop but cry out to him. But the crowds, the crowds who could physically see, did they really see who was in their presence? Did they really see who they were around? Did they really see that the Messiah, the son of David, the one promised from all the Old Testament scriptures, was in their midst. Because if they did, I don't think they would have been hushing the blind men, but they would have been welcoming them in, just like Jesus did. So let me ask a question. Are you blind? Are you seeing Jesus for who, who he truly is? Or are you just seeing him as a way for another blessing? Are you seeing him as the son of God, the one who died to save you from your sins? Or are you just looking for your your ticket to heaven? Let me encourage you that the blind man actually saw Jesus. And they saw him for his fullness and who who he truly was. My prayer is that we see Jesus in his fullness and who he truly is. Not like the crowds, but like the physically blind whose eyes were spiritually opened to him. With that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, the blind men saw you. And though that seems like an oxymoron, they saw you because we saw their actions. They called out to your messianic title. They asked, for you to heal them, and they followed you after that. Help us to see you. Help us to call out to you, and help us to follow you with our entire heart and entire being. In Jesus' name and for his sake we pray, amen. So thank you for studying with me. Come back for more daily devotion.